Okay, so uh, section C now from the course skills test. Oh, we've got our little uh, thing back. That's really interesting. That's really nice. Oh, it's gone again. So we're rearranging equations here. So sometimes this is known as changing the subject. Now, this is a really common key maths, uh, what well, algebra skill you need. That uh, kind of upsets me, it's in red. So let's change it to blue if we can. Okay, good. Um, so it's really, so rearranging equations and making things the subject or changing the subject is a really common skill. And in this case, we want to make x the subject. So we can see we've got y equals some fraction involving uh, an expression with x divided by another expression, x. So we've got x in two, <laughs> excuse me, in two places. Um, and we want to make uh, x a subject, so we really want an equation at the end that says x equals some combination of y in, in some way. Now, we don't know what that's going to look like yet, but my the best thing to do is if you want to make x a subject, you want to, first of all, you want to get rid of fractions. That's my first tip, is destroy fractions, because they're usually annoying. We might have to make them again at the end, so the first step is usually to destroy fractions if they're there. The second step is then to collect like terms. Um, sometimes you might need to factorize to do that. And then uh, finish off. So finish uh, what you need to do. So let's keep that in mind. So first thing, let's destroy the fractions. So let's multiply both sides by 5x minus 2. So I'm going to get y multiplied by 5x minus 2 is equal to 2x plus 3. Okay, So I've got rid of all the fractions. So let's multiply this out because I want to collect all my x terms on one side. Now, it doesn't matter which side I do it on, but I want to collect all the terms with x in on one side and all the things that, that I haven't got x involved with on the opposite side of the equals. So this is going to be 5xy minus 2y is equal to 2x. So I've still not achieved that yet. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to uh, collect all the x terms on this side. So I'm going to subtract two x, and at the same time I'm going to add two y. So I'm going to put two y on this side. So we've got five x y subtract two x. So this is now moved to the left. This is going to move to the right. So I'm going to get three y plus three. Um, oh, that's not three y. My apologies. Hopefully some of you spotted. I'm adding two y. Good. I'm glad I spotted now that now rather than at the end. Okay, so I've taken that to the right-hand side and this one to the left-hand side. Now, so I've collected all my x terms. Anything involving an x is on this side. Anything that's just numbers or anything that's not involving x is on this side. Now I'm going to refactorize. So, common term in this case is x. And this is the really clever bit. Because now I've gone from two versions of x here. And because I'm taking out the common factor of x, I've now reduce this equation to, well there's only one x that appears here, it really appears in this term, this term because of the brackets, but there's only one x in my equation. So the last step to finish off is really simple because I want x on its own. So I'm going to divide by this whole bracket. So I'm going to, this is going to leave me with x here, so I'm going to divide by 5y minus 2, which gives me 2y plus 3, all divided by 5y minus 2. Okay. So that's kind of really common way of what you're having to do is kind of expand things out. This is really useful in all sorts of modules, not just in C1 and C2. But it's really useful in mechanics, particularly on some really hard mechanics questions, all sorts of uh, algebra skills, being able to, to change an expression. So actually, instead of it's a y equals, in this case, we want it to an x equals. And this, this uh, getting rid of the fractions, getting two versions of the thing you want, collecting it on one side, and refactorizing it, and then uh, multi and then uh, dividing through to create another fraction. Okay, it's a really really common skill. It's really it's absolutely key. You understand this.